Hi, welcome back to the channel. Now that thing's fixed, it's time to get this thing fixed. Um, as you know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, I've had my ups and downs and um, picked up a couple of things and um, found out I was diabetic and uh, had a few other little bumps along the road. So a little while ago I made a decision that I was going to get fitter. I was going to start looking after myself and one of the big passions I used to have was mountain biking but broken neck, artificial disc in there, kind of put pay to riding mountain bikes for a long long time. I didn't have the full use of this hand. That's much improved and you can see in the background there I've got a new addition. Now that bike there come in a box and um, I love it, absolutely love it. Um, I've had it a few weeks now and I've been trialling it, I've taken it to shows, I've let people have a go on it, I've let friends and family have a go on it and the verdict's in, it's a brilliant bike. Video up here showing you how I built it because when you see the box you'll be like how's there a bike in that box? There's a bike in a box. So <laughs> we built it, let me show you around it in a It's been a brilliant addition. So the tube there contains a battery. This is a pedal assist bike by the way, pedal assist. So you've still got to work and uh, you know, you've still got to put the effort in, but that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was going to help me get back into shape. Now, I love my mountain bikes. Um, I used to go all over the place, me and my son. I used to go all over the place with friends. Miss that side of it. So I want to build my stamina back up, build my endurance back up. And it's, it's, I think it's going to take a good 12 months to do that. This bike is brilliant. It's helping me do it. it. It doesn't take away the pain. It doesn't take away the effort. It just flattens that, flattens it out for you. You're still going to work on the hills. You're still going to work, put the effort in. But it just makes it that little bit easier. And uh, the harder you work, the more that will assist you. So it's a, a brilliant addition. Let me take you around it anyway. It has a smart 250 motor in the rear hub. All sensors, everything's in the rear hub. We have our carbon drive belt. Like I said before, battery in there. Controller, look at this. Little switch here. Power it up, there you go. Love that. It's got five settings, but there's actually six, so you can turn it off, completely off. You've got one, two, three, four, five. There you go. And five is kind of what I ride in most of the time now, um, just to try and get me back on track. Look at this little bell. Absolutely brilliant. I didn't know what it was when it came. It just looked like a bracket. I thought it was for mountain something. You get a light with it as well. Like I say, really positive disc brakes. Um, Love the wheels as well. I'm a bit of a heavy weight, and I, I, when I saw them wheels, I was a bit dubious. Fantastic. They're great on most terrains. Um, I'll show you in the video where I've taken it, but the only time I've found them to be um, underwhelming is on really rough surfaces. And to be, all, to be honest, this bike isn't designed for rough surfaces, but um, no doubt, on your travels you'll come across rough surfaces. This is a commuter bike. Um, it's aimed at the commuter better like the commuter group. Those that travel in and out to work and uh, you know want a bit of assistance getting there. It is a great little bike. It goes together quite easily. It takes about two hours. Um, if you're videoing it it takes about four hours. <laughs> oh yeah look at look at this so I don't know if this is new, but it's the first time I saw it. It just screws right through. There's nothing on this side to adjust. It just goes into the fork. And it has a quick release on it. I think that idea is brilliant. These little clips here, they hold your cable in place. Another brilliant idea. Really tidy cable controls and entries. Um, really good seat. The construction that's got, you know, the thought and design that's gone into making this bike is just, just phenomenal. Got a couple of bits of rust appearing in the, in the nuts and 
uh, in the Allen heads, but at the end of the day, I'll put a little bit of uh, WD-40 in there and that'll tidy that back up again. Four weeks of using it, regular, enjoying it, and it still looks as good as the day I built it. Really, really enjoying it. Bars are a nice width. The frame is a nice size for me. You know, and I'm, I'm carrying a bit of weight. I understand that. And <laughs> the idea is when I've dropped the weight, this bike will be even better suited to me. But yeah, it comes with that stand on it. I kind of undenied about putting it on, but I wouldn't, I'd be lost without it now. I use it all the time. It's, it's so practical. There's another little button on here. Let me show you this. So if you're, there you go, to where. <laughs> if you get to some of the bigger hills, you can actually, you know, the bigger hills where you get off, them type of hills. If you get to one of them hills, that's a ton weight. Well, it isn't a ton weight, but if you're knackered, it feels like a ton weight. That there, that button helps you push it up the hill. Another little cheat. <laughs> I used that twice today. <laughs> it's time to take this out for a ride. I've had a little blast and um, I'm going to be honest with you, I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's time to probably put it to the test today. So I'm going to take it for a good blast out. I'm going to try it in different locations. Um, there's a cycle path right up the beach. I'm going to take it down there. I'm going to take it round, round the block here and let you know what I think. I'm going to give it a full dog in today. And uh, hopefully you'll see me a bit redder in the face and um, a bit knackered. But I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Show me life. Show me love. Make a change. Time is up We can wait for better days But the days won't come Show me life Show me love Show me life Show me love Make a change Time is up We can wait for better days But the days won't come Show me life Show me love This is all we got Show me life Show me love this is how we got Show me love Show me love
that's the first run out of the way. Now I've been out probably 10 minutes and uh, let me show you. We've done 2.8 miles. Now if you think pedal assist bikes are a piece of piss and they do all the work for you, let me assure you they don't. <laughs> I'm knackered. I'm knackered. <laughs> but you saw where I went there. I took it over a few different types of terrain. If anything, I need a little bit more air in the tyres. Um, it's not really designed for going where I've just taken it. Um, that lane and that track. What I was trying to do there was simulate, you know, if you were in a city or somewhere like that and you wanted to nip through a park. Ideal. It does it, you know. Took my time going through the water, um, through them big, big dips in the water. But yeah, I've enjoyed that. Smile on my face. The bikes handled it. The bike handled it really well. Um, hopefully you've seen that in the footage. Um, but it's now time to take it to the beach. And this is where I think I'll be using it more. Just so before we go to the beach, I'll show you. You know, it hasn't thrown up too much dirt either. You've seen where I was riding. It was pretty muddy, but you know. That's my bike lock, by the way. It didn't come with the bike. Um, I had a little idea that maybe somebody, if they really wanted the bike, couldn't bolt it. But then I remembered how long it took me to put it together. You'd have to have a, you'd have to have a real wanton will to unbolt that to steal it. But yeah, it's so far. It's a thumbs up. We're down on the Promet Mary boat. There's a dock over there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> New friend. That's where we're parked. So we're gonna have a blast along the prom. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright care of it that I can. Nine miles in. Just prove it to you that nine miles in. It's holding up well. Not so sure about me though. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh honest to God. Enjoying it though, really enjoying it. Um cracking day. It's not the warmest of days. I've maybe made a mistake by not having a jacket with me but it's only nine miles down the road in this, or whatever it is. So I'm not doing too bad. The bike is holding up really well. Can't fault it. It's performing really well. 
um, very comfortable. Um, I do need to adjust the seat. I think I need to take it back just a little bit further. Um, wrists are a bit sore. I think I'm, I've got too much weight over the front end. So I'll pull that back and I think I need to go up about an inch on the seat just so my legs can extend properly. I'm riding a little bit bow legged at the minute. But yeah, can't fault the bike. The drive chain's brilliant. I've used it in all the different modes and uh, it's performing really well. Just lovely, really smooth. Yeah, very happy. Time for a little break. If you do end up coming to Allenby, come see Tyler. He's got the drills he goes there. And uh, does a brilliant brew. And as you can see, he's busy. Right in the second of the car park, right in the middle of Allenby. So you can't miss him. <laughs> Well, I'm back at the van, the tide's coming in, it's definitely warmed up, and what have we got, we've got 14 miles on the clock, she was too bad, <laughs> I uh, must admit, it's <laughs> there to me, I must admit I've used um, the power and the boost um, settings quite a lot, and Obviously I'm out of shape and I need to get back into shape, so hopefully in the future um, I'll use a lot less of that. Maybe use a two-run mode. Two-run mode has a little bit of resistance on it. Um, anything I need to do with the bike? I do think I need to put a little bit more air in the tyres. Um, I don't know if that's just with me riding it today, but they do feel like they could do with a little bit more air, so we'll check the pressures when we get back. I've really enjoyed myself good to get back into it so here's, here's to the start of something good we got time on our side we're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know that every time you're away I long for you so much I can Back from the beach, we went back for a second time and took Riley with me this time and he absolutely loved it. He had a go on the bike as well, a bit big for him but he really enjoyed himself. Hi, I'm Isabella and I'm a part of the Crafty Crew. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's alright, I've got to give me one of them. <laughs> it's alright, didn't it? even on this mud and all, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Honest to God, I, I took it down farm lanes, country lanes, through muddy tracks, and it performs really well. It feels solid. It doesn't feel like a, a racer as such. It's, know, it feels... it's mortise and tenons joints on the bottom bracket, and then it's clamp bolts all the way up. It's, yeah, yeah. I, when it come in the box, I was a bit like, whoa. Yeah, and yeah. I saw that was engineered. Yeah, I mean, the thickness of them wheels. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not heavy either, is no? it? No. No, it, it, you can tell it's it's electric bike, but like I need, it's got batteries in it, but it's not over heavy, is it? Yeah, so I take it it's internal, is it? Yeah, it's in that, that's the whole battery pack there. That's unbelievable. Yeah, have a good trip. Yeah. Yeah. But are they, the harder you pedal, the faster they go. It's like the waltzers. Well, come on. <laughs> Can't believe it. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're riding a bike. What do you reckon? I can tell you're doing it though, can't you? Yeah, yeah. You, you, not you, one you, of those rev and go things. No, you no, it's good. It's giving you the workout, but yeah. it's easier. Oh, wow, yeah. it just no, it's just aluminium. It's all aluminium. Bottom and back, as fast as you can. Good timing, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you reckon? <laughs> nice. <laughs> no. Ideal commuter bike. Well, that, that's what it's. Oh, that's, that's what it is. It is yeah. a commuter bike. Yeah. yeah. So you can I mean, get I don't it. I mind the narrow tyres because I used to road race. Yeah. So I had dropped handlebars and yeah. they were used to that narrow. Yeah. But belt drives way past my technology. Like when I was racing. Well, it's the first time I've seen it. When I bought it, when it when it comes, sorry, and I took it out of the box, I was like a little bit dubious. But when I saw how well it built, it was, I was like, I I really like this. I mean, I mean, consider it for an electric bike. Yeah. That's light. Is that the company Van Powers? Van Powers, yeah. Where's it built? Where's it built? China. China, yeah. It's called um, the bike's actually called City Venture. Like it's it play on adventure. <laughs> what do you reckon? Enjoyed the ride. It's all right, I isn't like it? The clearance as well, the crank. Yeah. It's a good length, so you're not likely to catch your foot on it, even with boots on. Yeah. So I always worry about that. Yeah. You know, when you've got no guards, but even with boots on, you've got a good clearance. Yeah, I never, I never considered that bit, to be honest. It's just cycle racing. Isn't yeah. It? You go to such. <laughs> Parameters. We used to do 100, 120 miles a day. Yeah, yeah. that's that's so, far yeah. too. That's far too uh, far for me. Yeah, I think even now, <laughs> even, even with the pedal assist, miles a day, so that's enough. <laughs> but I tell you what, it's got me back out, and I'm I'm happy with it. That's the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know I've been enjoying the bike. I really have loved loved it. I took Ryle on his first bike ride today. He's chuffed a bit. Um, we've done things in the past, but this is the first dad and lad uh, road, like bike ride out. We went out of the house four hours, four brilliant hours that I've loved, and uh, hopefully there's many more of them. You know, it's I need to get shot of weight, I need to get fitter, and uh, hopefully that's going to be the catalyst. That's going to be the one thing. It changes my life. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Thank you for your continued support. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing, liking, and sharing with your friends. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.